What is up everybody? My name is P. Larius and welcome back to another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. As always, let's get our free gotcha box of the day. Because who can pass up free, am I right? <laughs> and we're still cooking, cook, cook, collecting cookies. So we'll feed Fu. After the story, we got 30 power recover. Wow. A little extra bonus. And we got a login bonus of Thunder Juice, another story ticket for 29,000 likes on Facebook, and a Power Recover times 100 for a birthday gift. So accept all those, and without any further ado, let's get into the story. I think we're on a new chapter. Season 6, Chapter 4, Ice Queen. Rika, Miu, Akari, the old hag, and I traveled, tra traveled deeper into the cave, where the nine-tailed fox was sealed 30 years ago. Our mission? To rescue Enju. What happened to Enju? What? Along the way, Tenge tried to stop us. She was a member of the Ninja Seeking Club and a former friend. Tenge showed some serious, deadly intent. When we faced off, she held nothing back. That this is part of her duty. It is hard to believe. Tenge, she will probably try to stop us again. Later. I would rather not fight her, but it seems that we do not have that option. Is this the Tenge consumed by darkness which Mew foreshadow? Smack. <laughs> Ow. Compose yourself, lad. Remove that look from off your face. What? What's gotten into you? All of a sudden, I turn to face her, ready to complain some more, but the look on the old hag's face tells me she's not kidding around. Remember well, lad, you are the rock upon which the ninja's seeking force stands. Should you have faith, they too can believe in the impossible. They can work miracles. But should you falter, that doubt could lead to their demise. Don't talk like that. <coughs> Nay, it is truth. Soul wielder of the Kamui are you, the greatest ninja of your village. This burden you shoulder is greater than any other ninja here. This burden called your past. But always a burden, it may not be. Grant's responsibility, too, to keep faith in a brighter future. Lose it not to the past, and hold fast to your future. Believe in the future. Don't let the past consume me. I think I understand. Alright, I will. I choose. Choose to believe. To defend the future with my friends. Well said. Though still quite loathsome to behold, less dour now is your ugly mug. Are we reading Shakespeare? <laughs> hey, who are you calling ugly? P and Master, feeling better now. Should move on. Rika, if you say so. Good point. Our foes will not long tarry in pursuing us once more to destroy the ceiling rock also. We must save Enju before the situation worsens. With that, we decide to continue our journey. Deeper and deeper, we travel into this cave. Closer and closer, too, draws an unearthly aura. With each step, it feels as if it's seeping into us, giving fuel to the fear gnawing at our hearts. I feel beads of sweat drip from my brow, not from exertion, but from the terror which has me in its clutches. I don't know what it is, but something doesn't feel right. Perhaps an untell fox has been resurrected. Nay, still in place, its bond should be. Were they broken? Much worse for for where we would be. What? Now it's time to start Season 6, Chapter 4, Part 2 of 13. Even worse than this? Is that even possible? Yes, it's said that being in its very presence would leave one stricken, paralyzed by fear. Yeesh! <laughs> Guess it wasn't sealed away for nothing. We're almost there, though. I can sense it. Up ahead, all winds have ceased. 
which is likely where we shall find our foes. At the ceiling ground, our final battle draws near. I see. From what I gather, the ceiling ground is a dead end. Nowhere to run or hide. Not that our enemies are likely to do either. Which makes the crescent moon fan that se secretary lady wields even more of a threat. All she needs is one swipe to erase our memories. She herself is quite powerful too. Beating her will be no easy task. And on top of that, Tango will be on their side. The more I think about it, the more it feels like the odds are on their side. Our backs will be up against a wall, literally and figuratively. If only, if only we had another weapon that we could use, other than the Kamui. P. Did not confirm equipment and status? Common sense before final battle against final boss. It was all story progression. I didn't get a chance to open my menu, alright? Wait, what am I saying? This isn't a game. Oh, just remembered. How about this? Eep! Fu rustles around in Miu's belongings, or more accurately, her cleavage. <laughs> what comes out is a shimmering ring. Why would you keep something so important stuck in there, anyway? Oh, that? That is the ring we borrowed from that one assassin. Sure, borrowed, right. Said some interesting thing about what this ring could do, yeah? Yeah, it would. Uh, draw out the user's latent ninja skill, then something about jujitsu? I think that's what it was. That was all I remember hearing. We were pressed for time, after all. Now that I think about it, that man was wearing this ring when he cast his restraining jujitsu. But how does it work? Well, there is one person who might know. What can you tell us about this ring, old hag? The one assassin used it when he was attacking us. I take the ring from the rabbit and hand it to the hag. This? Can it be? The old hag pours over the ring tilting her head in puzzlement. Engraved upon its interior is a conjuration of a ninja skill which activates when ninjutsu is imbued within it. Yet this con conjuration, never have I seen one like it, completely unfamiliar to me. Is this branch of ninjutsu? If it helps any, that assassin said he was part of the crow. The crow, you say? Is that the first I have heard of such an organization? Wow, never expected there would be something you didn't know about. Long have I traversed the path of the ninja, but can recall not ever glimpsing this type of conjuration. Could it be, then, that an entirely new type of jujitsu has been developed by them? If true, then by in Chanting this ring with a ninjutsu, this tool allows any with ninja skill to utilize potent ninjutsu. How can this be? Too advanced is this for but a simple band of vagabonds. Now it's time to start. Season 6, Chapter 4, Part 3 of 13. So, you're saying, anybody with ninja skill can use advanced ninjutsu by wearing this ring, right? I surmise. That could be very useful. Might as well put it on, just in case. What? But a theory this is. The risk it carries is completely unknown. Think before you... Oof! The hag had been walking ahead of us, but suddenly falls with a shout. I guess she bumped into a wall or something. She should watch where she's going. Quit messing around. I stared disapprovingly, which seems to rub the old hag the wrong way. Nay, it was no fault of mine. See for yourself. The road is blocked. Fine, fine. Whoa! What I see before me is a mound of rubble. It looks like part of the cave has collapsed, blocking our way. You can't be serious. Do we take a wrong turn or somewhere? No, I believe this is the correct path. Possibly the only one. I can sense the presence of the nine-tailed fox beyond this rubble. 
I see. So this is how they sealed off the last part of the path. If our enemies resurrect the Ninetale Fox, then they could blast away this cave in with little trouble. Unfortunately, that isn't the case for us. We don't have that kind of power. Not like we could just sit here and wait for the Ninetale Fox to be revived. We have to save Enju. The only question is, how? Can we just use that ring to blow up this wall? Great idea! I have plenty more ninja skill than that scrub assassin. Focusing it on this ring should give us all the power we need. Okay, here goes nothing. hi -ya! Senpai, no! Please, you must wait! Hmm? Miyu tries to stop me, but she is too late. <laughs> I'd already focused my ninja skill into the ring. A great din erupts, echoing through the cave. What the? Eek! Everybody look out! Please duck! Suddenly, a beam of light erupts from the now glowing ring. The way it arcs, it almost looks like a whip. Oh, jeez! The whip of light violently snaps back and forth like a thrashing dragon. In mere moments, it has obliterated the, the debris blocking our path. Guess that solves our problem. Or so I thought. Hey, stop it. Stop. Right now. Zap. Ack. P, control your aim. I'm trying, but it's impossible. How do you control this thing? It's true. This thing is out of control. How does it even work? Now it's time to start Season 6, Chapter 4, Part 4, Fort. 13 You insufferable dolt the ring remove the ring Oh right No sooner do I take the ring off than the light subsides and the whip dissipates What just happened I have no time to wonder as a low rumble soon begins to shake the cave Oh great now what Look P incoming rumble You've got to be kidding me. That vulgar display of power might have gotten the rubble out of the way, but now some of it's raining down onto us. Oh no! Right onto me. What should I do? Uh. Render raid and carrier. I'll save you, Mew. Somehow, I make it to Mew before the rubble can, and pick her up. Okay, now what do I do? <laughs> Peace and bye. Go right! Dot dot dot. With no time to answer, I follow Mew's suggestion and leap to the right. Thunderous booms erupts from all around us now. Weaving my way through the fallen debris, I dive onto the cave floor. Mew and I make it out, but just barely. Whew! Ow! That landing hurt a bit. Are you okay, Mew? Oh, peace, senpai. A tight embrace. That is the answer I get from a clue that relieved me. Oof. Thank you ever so much for saving my life, senpai. Just, um, glad you're safe, is all. Oh, I do apologize for grabbing onto you like that. I'm ever so sorry. As suddenly as that hug began, so it ends. Mew realizes what she is doing and lets me go. Um, how about yourself, P. Senpai? Are you, well... Yes, I'm well. I mean, alright, too. In any other situation, this mood right now would have been almost romantic. <laughs> Stare! <laughs> Judging by her icy glare, I suppose that doesn't sit well with Rika. Stare! <laughs> or with Akari, either. Our conversation is interrupted by a nearby cave-in. It isn't just dirt. The literal ceiling of the cave collapses. All the commotion seems to have weakened the integrity of this whole area. We should make haste. No way to save Inju if we are caught by a cave-in. Crossing over this strewn debris, we run for some time until we are a safe distance away. It is then that we take a breather. I do believe we should be safe now. Good to hear, Miyu. I know we can count on... Oh no! Glancing at my hand, I notice that the ring has dissolved into a fine powder. Could not withstand your power, I surmise. Unleashed it all, 
at the cost of its integrity. So much for that, then. I was hoping this ring would have been a little more useful. Nay, better have not than an overwhelming power gained too suddenly, but more pressing matters there are. Do you sense it? Oh, Rika Senpai, I do believe this sensation is. Nine-tailed fox, its presence, grown stronger, after a wall destroyed. So that's what that was. It had chills running down my back. Fear is a natural reaction, Akari. She do not succumb to it, that is. Don't worry, I won't. Great, you're one inch closer to me, you. Woohoo! Now it's time to start season 6, chapter 4, part 5 of 13. Dot dot dot. <laughs> My grip on the Kamui grows tighter as I sense the ever growing strength of the nine tailed fox's presence. Though I do not say it out loud, my mind is already made up. Nobody will be left behind. We are leaving this cave. Alive. Together. Whoa! Are we here? Is this it? The cavern opens up into an area slightly wider than the ones we've seen before. And unlike the other areas, it also seems artificial, like it is man-made. There is something at the very back of this area. What's that? It looks like a shrine. A simple yet reverent shrine stands alone in this wide area. The nine tailed fox, it must be sealed within that shrine. It only takes but a single step forward to sense that undeniably dark energy it emits. So fearsome, so overwhelming, just being in the same room inspires magnificent terror. Oop. I hear me speak ever so faintly. The intimidation, I feel, must be nothing compared to Miu, whose senses are greatly keener. Are you okay, Miu? Yes, I do believe I can withstand it. Even so, we shouldn't stick around long. Let's get this over with, and fast. P, over there, look. Is that what I think it is? To the side of the shrine, just a small ways away, is a bound and sleeping Enju. Enju! Hold on, Enju! Akari starts running off towards Enju. Wait, Akari, stop! That's a trap! At the last second, I grab Akari by the arm to stop her. A knife shoots down from the ceiling and buries itself in the floor at nearly the same moment. Yipes! <laughs> Hold it right there. I won't permit you to come any closer. You. Greetings, you ever constant thorns on my side. How very persistent of you to come all this way. The secretary and the former owner step out from behind the shrine. You must feel very fortunate, all of you, in a sense. After all, you have front row seats to the resurrection of the nine-tailed fox. The former owner speaks, haughty and smug as always, I reply. Back off. Give Enju back. Back off or face the consequences. Dot dot dot. Heard about you also Ronin Ninja? Dot dot dot. <laughs> no, not your past. Care not about ninjas, nine tailed fox, any of that. Our friends, safe and sound, back with us, only concern. Friends, camaraderie, friendship, it's enough to make me sick. I've had enough of you. Be gone. Leave that to me, sir. Great, you're one inch closer to Rika. What? That is not what I was going for. Now it's time to challenge a checkpoint. And we need 3,500 soul, and we have 8,957. So why not check me? Congratulations, here's your reward. Let's move on to Season 6, Chapter 4, Part 6 of 13, in the next episode. <laughs>
I think that'll do it for now. We will end this episode with some ninja fights and a cliffhanger, if you don't mind. Let's skip that one. Let's skip that one. Try to get a low level. There we go. That looks good enough for me. Nope. Let's try that one. Alright, maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, let's try this one. Gotta get a win somewhere. Not with this one. <laughs> Alright, one more try. Let's go for it, why not? Oh man. <laughs> Just my luck. That's what I get for ending on a cliffhanger. Alright, and that'll do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed that one. This is definitely a long chapter, and I was trying to end halfway through. So stay tuned until the next episode, and we will continue from here. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, and as always, thanks for the support. I will catch you guys and girls and everyone in the next episode. Peace! Green beans! I don't like you! No adapting? My name is Hilarious. Oh,